In primary hyperthyroidism, TSH is suppressed and usually both T3 and T4 are elevated. Since these hormone levels are not a differentiating factor within this group, they are not included in this table. Upon palpation, the thyroid is usually diffusely enlarged but non-tender in patients with Graves' disease. There are multiple nodules in toxic multinodular goiter, while a single nodule may be felt in toxic adenoma. In cases of increased hormone release or ingestion, the thyroid will be normal upon palpation, though with subacute thyroiditis it may be tender. Increased levels of thyroglobulin is suggestive of increased hormone production, though it may also be elevated in cases of subacute thyroiditis. Decreased radioiodine uptake indicates increased hormone release or ingestion. The pattern of increased iodine uptake is diffuse with Graves' disease, patchy with toxic multinodular goiter, and focal with toxic adenoma. Finally, we have the antithyroid antibodies. Thyroid-stimulating immunoglobulins are present in Graves' disease, while thyroid peroxidase antibodies occur in Hashimoto's thyroiditis.